Hi, Jonathan Adams here of Vertical Thinking. I'm here today at our primary production facility. We have a very close relationship with this company and the other manufacturers we deal with. And we thought it would be neat for people to have a bit of a peek at the production process and the high quality products we offer. So there's sort of three things we want to have people take away from this video. One would be uh, the high level of service Vertical Thinking offers. Two would be the high level of quality you find in our products. And then three, is again an overview of uh, how production works and some of the equipment involved with that, which is really quite impressive. We're going to take a peek out back here shortly. Um, so number one, service. Uh, Vertical Thinking is truly a service-based company. That means that when you call us or email us, you can expect to be dealing with a real live human being who's going to very quickly deal with your questions and concerns and just help you out that way. Um, that's quite a contrast to a lot of the printing industry. If you've done a lot of printing, you'll know that it's not always like that. Uh, it's kind of important for us that people know that we're a small enough company that when you place an order with us, you're going to be dealing with the same salesperson, the same graphics designer, generally from the beginning to the end of your order. And that's a big difference. You're dealing with some of these very large companies. Uh, they're not going to remember your name. Uh, every phone call or email often sort of is like the first one. You're starting all over again, and that's really frustrating. Um, so yeah, we're a service company. Give us a try. Just give us a shout or email and see for yourself. Um, so two, a bit about our products here. Um, I've got some sample kits here. Uh, these are the ones that we send out when people request these through the website. And uh, so we'll just take a look at that. These are in a presentation folder. This is the vertical thinking one, but we uh, create these for anybody. This is the UV coating, so it's nice and uh, glossy. And if we open that up, there's pockets on both sides uh, with the business card slits if you want to put a business card in there. Uh, so we'll just take a look at these products. Uh, first of all here, uh, this is a 4x6 postcard with the Aqueous, or AQ for short, as it says on the website, finish. Uh, so that's a nice glossy finish. Nice quality thick card stock. And uh, same thing here, just a little larger. This one was a custom size uh, for Niagara Falls. Uh, we can do custom sizes. If you don't see what you want on the site, just give us a shout, give you a price, take care of it. Um, business cards. Again, this is an aqueous coded or AQ for short business card. Uh, 14 point card stock. That's the thickest you typically see out there. I mean, people are printing on as light as eight or nine points, so this is uh, nice and thick. Um, if you are really wanting to make an impression, we do the uh, the matte laminated and this is an 18 point and it's got the uh, thin layer of plastic on it with the matte finish and this is kind of like the um, Apple products all their boxes I don't know if you ever picked up an Apple iPod box and noticed that uh, it had a really neat texture to the box that's what this is it's got that neat texture to it uh, we also do the UV coated business cards this is a high gloss finish um, if you've got like a vibrant photograph or something like that on the front of your card and you want it to be high gloss, this is what you want. Uh, the back of these is, this one's not printed at all, it can be printed on the back, but it's, it's sort of a not glossy finish, it's almost matte, uh, which is nice because you can write on it very easily. I should mention though that all of our products, the aqueous coating as well, you can still write on this with a pen. Uh, if you want to throw down a phone number or a quote, whatever, it will uh, take the ink, you can write on it easily. Door hangers, these are becoming more popular, popular all the time. People kind of tell us that they get a much better return on investment from this stuff, which is really cool. Um, this is a three and a half by eight and a half hanger. We do these in the three and a half by 12, so it's just the same thing but longer, kind of like that. And then we do the four and a quarter by 11. And that's sort of like, um, you take your typical sheet of paper here, this is a flyer, eight and a half by 11, typical size. Fold it vertically. That's four and a quarter by 11. So we do door hangers in that size as well. I just don't have any samples of that here. Uh, you can also do this with the perforation option, which you see on the site. What that is, is a little perforation here on the bottom two inches. And if you bend that, it's gonna pop right off. And now they've got your business card, which is really good because people will often pick up something and say, you know, I'm planning on doing that. Not tomorrow, but two months from now, I'm planning on selling my house or aerating my lawn, whatever the case. They can pop off your business card and keep that so when they're ready, they just give you a shout. 
brochures. This is uh, eight and a half by 11. Uh, we call it a letter fold. So it's just folded like that. Some people call that a tri-fold or a roll fold. Um, we can do them half fold, Z fold, whatever you want, but that's the most common. That's 100 pounds, nice sturdy paper. That's the thickest you typically see. You go to the bank and they've got their visa brochures. That's typically what it's on. They've got envelopes. These are the number 10 size, which is the most common. Your bills typically come in that. This one's got the mailer window if you want that. That's an option. Or just plain. And then we've got just your typical 8.5 by 11 flyer. And um, this one's full color one side. You can print it both sides. Aqueous coating looks great. And then last but not least, we've got some letterhead here. Okay, now that we've taken a look at the products, we're going to move on to number three, which is going out back to take a look at production and some of the equipment involved with that. We'll see you out there. Okay, here we are out back in the production area. We're standing next to the Heidelberg Speedmaster Press here. Heidelberg is generally revered as one of the top brands in offset printing, and this is a, a really amazing press. It's got six towers uh, plus one inline coder. That allows you to print a full color CMYK print job plus do special things like add a metallic Pantone if you want. And then the uh, inline coder adds the aqueous coating all in one shot. It doesn't have to be done separately, which is quite amazing. Uh, the paper goes in at the beginning here, runs over each of the towers through the AQ coder, uh, comes out at the end. Something really neat here, this has the Heidelberg Extreme Color Control. Basically, this means that every single sheet is being monitored and uh, color corrected on the fly. And this is something uh, new and it really allows for extreme color accuracy throughout the print run and just in general. When everything comes off the end, everything is loaded up into a machine that jogs everything together and makes sure it's nice and even. And then it's put into the cutting machine where it's of course cut up. After cutting, sometimes there's additional finishing, such as for door hangers, there's going to be die cutting. Brochures get folded, of course. Uh, but when everything's said and done, everything is put into boxes. Uh, load it up and ship directly to you through UPS. And that's how it works. And that wraps up the production portion of the video and wraps up the video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this. And uh, just remember, we are at your disposal. Give us a call for your next print job. We'd love to work with you on it. You won't be disappointed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.